appear inside the uh, toolbox. We have a tool here, you can see it, called the pen tool. If I click on it, wanna click, stay with me. If I click on it, you can see the cursors, the cursor, the mouse cursor change like this. Uh, behind, uh, uh, behind the pen tool, I have a star shape. Now, this means now I can create. But you need to focus. Now I'm creating a path. I don't want to make a path or a mask. We are going to explain more about them later. For now, I'm planning to create what? To create a shape. So I need to change it from here to shape. And then here inside Photoshop, I can start the creation. If I click, for example, here and here, now I have a sharp edge. If I click and keep clicking and drag, I will create what? A curve, not a sharp edge, okay? See? I can use it to create any shape I want. Here, the circle means that I'm going to close this shape, okay? For example, if I want to write my name by using, or to draw my name by using this tool, okay? I'm going to create a new layer, an empty layer. Now I'm selecting the pen tool, okay? I can start from here, for example and then click and drag a little and click and drag again. Okay. For example, this is S. Of course, after I finish, I can fix all of these num uh, uh, all of these points or anchors. Okay, I can go to convert, and then I can fix. Or I can go back to the bin tool. I can then fix the. Uh, fix the points I have, okay? This is the basic idea how you can draw your name, okay? See, as I said, you can fix it. And then you can continue drawing the other letter. What? Left click. Only you need to use the left click, okay? We have many tools we can use to fix any shape we create, okay? For example, this point is a sharp. How can I make it curve or smooth, not a sharp edge? Here, if I click on right, if I click on right, I have convert point tool, the last one. If I select it, I'm moving mouse the mouse here now to this point. And then if I click and drag, it will be converted to what? To, to be a, like a curve, not a sharp uh, point. 
Okay. Also, if I click on right, I have a free form and curvature form. This is another way to, to draw uh, by using the bin tool. We are going to explain them later. But for now, we have two tools we can use, add anchors and delete anchors. If I want to add more points to the shape I created, I can select the add anchor. And then inside any area for the corners, I can click to create a new points, okay? In this way, I can add points. If I want to delete some points, click or right and go to delete anchor point. And then you need to go, you need to select any point you don't want and it will be deleted, okay? Okay, how about moving the, how about moving these points? How we can move them? You need to press on keyboard on V, on V to change the cursor. Okay, it's better to, how I can make the, uh, or change the uh, points or the anchors position. Now I'm selecting the move tool. I'm coming back to the bin tool. Okay, with control, I'm clicking on this shape with control. Okay, then I'm still clicking on control on keyboard. Now I can move any point I want. I can control the care controllers to any point, okay? See? For example, if I want to fix the S, I will come back to minus. For example, to, to delete this point, okay? Uh, and to delete this also, I don't need them. And then with control, I can select the points and fix them, okay? Then I need to go inside, drag this, for example, like here and this point also I don't need, I will delete it. Okay, then with control, Okay, and then I'm selecting this. So fixing this one, and then I'm dragging this here. I'm moving this here, okay? I'm putting this here, for example. See? Um, now, when I want to move any point, I click on what? On control to move points, okay? If I want to move it to change the position to any point. I can click on what? I need to click on control with the mouse. If I want to add points, I need to select add. I can add another anchors. If I want to delete, I need to select delete. Okay, if I want to uh, uh, convert, a point from curve to sharp or sharp to curve, I can use the last one, convert point tool. Now this curve, I can change it to what? To sharp points, okay? So how many tool I have to control the shape I created? One, two, three, and with control to move the points, okay, or the anchors. How we can create a circle or an ellipse? I can click here, okay, and then here. 
Now I created two points. The third one here, click with drag. Okay. The fourth one here. Okay. And now I just need to what to close it. After I finish, I can go to convert and convert this to curve. And now I have something like an ellipse, okay? By using three, uh, four points. I will repeat, okay? Now I'm selecting the bin tool. I click for the first one, only one click. And then here I click with drag to create a curve. I move down here and then also click with the drag. And then here, click with the drag. And now I close the shape. After that, this is, this is a corner, a sharp corner. How can I change it to curve? Click on right, the last one, convert point tool, I selected. And then here, I move the mouse over this point, and then I click and drag. Okay. I want to, I can fix this also to make it more like an ellipse. And this is how you can create a circle or something like an ellipse or a circle, okay? We need to close the shape because, for example, I'm creating a new one here, 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 and like this. If I hit on enter, I didn't close this shape, okay? I'm selecting this shape and I change the stroke. See, there will be no stroke here. Why? Because there is no line here. I didn't close the shape. Because of that, it's very important to close the shape, okay? Okay, now, 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 You need to focus more on the details related to shape creation. You need to know how to add, how to delete, to delete points, how to con convert points. And use this limit as a reference to create the cloud, okay? Inside this cloud, you can see we have some area here and we have some area sharp, sharp area, okay? Okay, stay with me and let us try to draw this cloud. Okay. Now, I select the event tool as usual. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to start from here. I'm clicking here and then here, I'm clicking and drag. Then here, click without drag. Yeah, the color, the cloud should be inside, not outside. Okay. And now I'm moving here, also clicking with dragging and here i'm going to click and drag again and here click without dragging because as i said this is a sharp now click and drag to draw the curve and here and here here click without dragging here i need to drag
Sí. Click with dragging. Look at the controllers. The controllers usually move with the line that I'm going to draw. Now here, sharp one click, and here click and drag. This is not accurate here, it's Peter. And now here, click and drag, and uh, without a drag, I can come here. Yeah, it's better to put it in. See, here, click without drag. I can come here and then click without drag. Also here. See, stay with me. Click with dragging. Here, without. And now I need to fix it. I have a problem with this point. I can increase the curve from here. Or I can delete the point. Then with control, I can fix this. Okay, put it here and then reduce this curve to make it more accurate. And then I need to reduce this also a little. I can rotate it. And now what I have, I have this cloud, see? 